Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Sagittarius, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What to expect, what's coming ahead, the next 48 hours for you. Okay, let's take a look at your energy. We'll jump right in. What's going on with Sag? The next 48 hours, please. Okay, we have balance. Just my glasses, sorry. We have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So yeah, I feel like you're you're trying to find some kind of balance in the situation that you're dealing with at the moment. We also have denial. I acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness so there's some kind of situation that you need to be aware of in order to gain this balance that you're pursuing um there's something going on that you may not be fully aware of that you may be denying okay and we have failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so there may be some lessons that you're learning at this moment and i also feel like you're going through some sort of change i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so there's some kind of changes happening for you sagittarius some kind of growth um i feel like you're evolving but I feel like you're doing so because of the past challenges and lessons that you've been through in the past. And I feel like that's where you're trying to regain your balance. You kind of feel like you're off alignment, you know. And there may be some things that you need to be fully aware of. Kind of stand back and observe is what I'm getting stand back and notice something that's before you okay okay let's get into some tarot for sagittarius what messages do we have for sagittarius for the next 48 hours please uh spirit give me a message for sagittarius okay we have the chariot so you're definitely moving I'm definitely moving look at this we have the chariot and the six of swords so you're definitely moving forward you're moving along this path that's bringing you more comfort more ease more grace more peace okay so you're moving into this beautiful energy at the moment sagittarius what else do we have the king of pentacles and the fool okay so i feel like you're currently on this new journey you're currently pursuing something that is going to gain you a lot of stability as you move along to this new kind of destination, okay? But I feel like with this King of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're looking for that peace of mind, that stable, um, secure investment in pursuing something that you may have started or you may be on the verge to start okay but i feel like something is going to bring something may bring you a lot of abundance out of this new beginning that you have this leap of faith this you know spark of inspiration that's leading you on this new beginning so that may be very interesting for you sagittarius because you're moving in this direction that's leading you to this more prosperity more adventure okay so that's beautiful energy for you sagittarius let's get some cards to clarify let's clarify this message a bit spirit Give me a message for Sagittarius. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, the Hierophants, and the Knight of Swords. So I believe some kind of truths are coming out. Something is being told 
And I feel like with this King of Pentacles um, showing up again in this reading is definitely some kind of stability, some kind of solid foundation that you're building. And with the Hierophant, I feel like you're standing on something that you truly believe in. Some kind of truth is coming out. You're stepping into faith on these truths that you have built. Okay? And I feel like you're not hesitating. You're like jumping on this situation, if that makes any sense. Okay? Um, Spirit, give me a message for this Six of Swords. Tell me more about this Six of Swords energy. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So you're like moving away from stress, anxiety, and fears. Um, we have the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. So I feel like someone is coming to offer you know some comfort along the way someone is comfort you comforting you in this situation that's helping ease the these emotions that you're feeling because you're coming out of this um stress and anxiety and worry so there's something that you were worried about in the recent past and now you're moving into this more more peaceful place where you're able to let go of that worry, that anxiety. Because he's being covered by that blanket. That blanket represents protection. Spirit providing protection from the things that we fear. The things that overwhelm us or stress us out. Okay? So you do have protection. Okay. With the Page of Cups, I feel like there's... This could be two people. I feel like one is coming to comfort you and one is coming to keep you active. Kind of maybe like a friend coming to say, you know, you've been in the house long enough. Let's go. Let's go take action. Let's go have fun, excitement, you know. So I feel like, you know, this may be two people or this may be one with the same attributes. But I feel like you are receiving the comfort that you need and the excitement that you know, burst of adrenaline. Okay. So I feel like it's someone close to you who's like tugging you by the shoulder. Let's go. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about this King of Pentacles energy. Give me a message for this King of Pentacles energy, please. Okay. We have the Six of Swords again. Wow. Okay. The King of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this King of Pentacles is holding all the prosperity, is holding all the abundance, all the stability, the feeling of being balanced and grounded. And I feel like you're moving towards, she's moving towards the King of Pentacles. So she's moving towards those feelings of balance, of being grounded. So and we also have the King of Cups. So I feel like you know, if this is your energy or if this is someone around you, someone is really being supportive, really like giving you that tight, comforting hug to let you know that, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, Sagittarius, it's going to work out for the greatest good. Just hang in there and don't give up. You know, keep fighting the good fight because you're almost at the finish line. Okay, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing with this King of Pentacles energy. <clears throat> see. Spirit, give me a message for the fool. What is this new beginning or leap of faith? What is this? The King of Wands. The Star. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So with this energy... We're really seeing that there's some kind of fire. There's some kind of passion. Um, I feel like it's going to take a leap of faith, but it's going to take you being courageous and fearless in order to take this leap. 
In order to go that extra mile in this new beginning, you're going to need to be assertive and just get a move on because we have the, the star and the five of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like whatever the situation is, it's making you feel more appreciated, more accepted. You're not feeling left out in, in the cold. You know, something is making you feel like you don't lack confidence to do this. You have all the confidence that you need with this King of Wands and this Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse is saying you have all the confidence. You don't lack anything that you need to be able to take this leap. Okay. And the star is letting you know that this, this is going to provide some inner clarity this is a renewal, not only a new beginning, but a renewal in faith and hope, kind of like wishing upon a star and seeing that wish kind of develop over time. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's get another row. Let's get another row for Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> More messages for Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, and rising in the next 48 hours. Okay, we have the Justice card and the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, at the bottom we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I believe that any resources that you have available to you, you're using them at the full capability. She's nurturing this pinnacle. She's holding it just like she would a baby. So I, I feel like something that you're putting a lot of energy, a lot of investment in is going to be greatly cared for. Okay. It's going to bring you most likely prosperity we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles so if this is a love interest this is like a power couple okay okay sagittarius we have the justice card so the justice card is all about cause and effect some kind of process that you set in motion is now giving you a return it may be something that you set in motion uh, a while back is finally coming into fruition for you. So this could be money. This could be a job offer. This could be some kind of love interest. But something that you set in motion um, that you have been waiting for is now giving you a return. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords, I feel like this is you having that burst of energy. Kind of like that inner clarity, that curiosity that's pushing you forward into this new beginning here. I feel like you're very quick witted is what I want to say. You're like coming up with answers left and right. It like doesn't take you very long to process to come up with the solution. Okay. If you're problem solving, I feel like, you know, it's going to be quick like your problem will be dissolved okay now there's some kind of reunion there's some kind of homecoming that you'll be having within the next 48 hours maybe you'll be visiting home maybe you'll be visiting friends maybe they'll be visiting you but there's some kind of reunion happening maybe with your parents or your siblings longtime friends but i feel like this is a gathering this is a get together and I feel like at times it may be a little stressful. It may be a little overwhelming. Maybe you haven't been home for a while. Or maybe you haven't seen this person or these people in a very long time. And it's kind of overwhelming. It's kind of like a weight being lifted. But... like a weight you're still carrying. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to explain 
the feeling that I'm getting with this Four of Wands. But I, I feel like it may be a little stressful or it may be a little overwhelming having this reunion or this homecoming. Okay. Um, I hope that makes sense to you, Sag. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification for Sagittarius. Tell me more about this justice card. Tell me more about this justice, please. What's coming forward in the next 48 for Sagittarius? Okay, the Page of Cups. <laughs> we keep getting this Six of Swords. You are moving. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, for the Six of Cups, we have the Strength card. And for the uh, Ten of Wands, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like after all of this transpires, you're going to be going through some kind of just uh, recovery phase where you're like trying to gain back your energy. As I'm talking, I feel like there's a weight on my shoulders and I feel like it's hard to speak. So I, I'm, I'm like gasping a little bit in breath trying to get out the information to you and I, I'm not sure what it is that's like keeping me like held back you know if that makes any sense okay but that's the feeling that I'm getting it's, it's so intense okay Sag with the justice card we have the five of cups so i feel like whatever this reward is whatever this is that you've been waiting for to finally give you results some kind of effort that you put in this reward is going to bring you a lot of happiness i feel like you were at the point where you thought that it was not going to come through like um Maybe you were going to be denied or maybe this is some kind of approval or job promotion or, you know, some kind of um, situation like that. Maybe a lawsuit or some kind of legal matter. But I feel like it all goes better than you expected. So that's very nice. Okay, with the Page of Swords, we have the, the Six of Swords again. And we keep getting this six of swords so it's definitely moving you into this new transition you may be physically locating relocating with so many this six of swords have come out three times already in this reading so this is a huge transition that you're making this is possibly changing your location physically. You could be physically moving. But Spirit is letting you know that this is a transition that needs to be made. This is something that you do need to pursue. Okay? So really take notice in whatever that you're moving towards. This is like destined. Okay, this is something that needs to transpire. For the Six of Cups, we have the Strength card. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you have the strength. You have the ability to deal with this reunion. And I feel like you're going to do it with grace. You're going to do it with strength because you have the ability. Uh, Spirit is letting you know that you have unconditional love in this situation, so you are protected. Okay, that's what I'm getting with this, with this strength card. You have the protection. With this Ten of Wands, we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like with these Ten of Wands, I feel like you're releasing the anxiety. You're releasing the weight and you're just keeping what it is that you can bear okay um but you're you're releasing the negative energy and you're keeping the 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 energy that that's easier for you to handle if that makes any sense it doesn't necessarily mean that it's positive it doesn't necessarily mean that it's negative but you're just keeping what you can handle okay beautiful energy 
Sagittarius. This message is pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Whew. Spirit, give me a message. Um, what is going to be the outcome for this situation? What is the outcome, please? What can Sagittarius expect? The Eight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So if you're open to love, Sagittarius, love is here. Love is coming through for you. It may be some sort of offer that is coming through slowly but surely. Okay, but I do feel like you're going to receive some kind of communication or there is going to be inspired action that you'll be taking. Um, with the Eight of Wands, I feel like you're kind of assertive. You're busy. You're like pushing forward. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like This is something reliable and stable, something that you can depend on. Whether this is a person, a job, or an investment, this is something that's going to, you know, be reliable. This is something that, if this is a person, this is a reliable, hardworking person who is also loyal. Okay? But if you're looking for love, love is here. Love is coming through for you. Okay. Matter of fact, let me take a look. Tell me more about this love. I want to know more about this love. Message about this love interest, please. Is this someone from the past? We have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups. Okay, so this is someone coming forward from you that, that has been really thinking about you or that you have been thinking about them, and they kind of pop up surprisingly. So this may be someone that you already know because you're, you're deep in thought. They're thinking of you, you're thinking of them. So this is definitely maybe someone from the past, maybe because of the Six of Cups energy. Um, so, yeah, but they do want to communicate, send you some kind of message. I feel like there's a lot of communication going on here with this Eight of Wands energy. You have that twice. Okay, so let's get some Moonology cards for Sagittarius. Let's get some Moonology cards. Okay, we have a new romantic cycle begins. Yes, we saw that. Bring love into the situation. Okay. What else do we have for Sagittarius? And the energy is gaining momentum. So some kind of energy is building. This may be this love cycle that's building up. It might be gaining more energy, feeling kind of overwhelming or melancholy. You know, it may be creating those butterflies. Okay, so Sag, whoa, look at the bottom. A fiery climax approaches. Ooh, so some kind of intense passion, some kind of fiery climax is approaching for you, Sagittarius. So beautiful energy. So um, Sagittarius, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have your February playlist up. So if you want to take a look at your February playlist and take a look at your sun, your moon sign, and your rising sign, then uh, feel free to do so. That'll give you more clarity, more understanding of what's going on. If it resonates... And until your next reading, many blessings, love and light.